Today, I'm making a ratatouille. Simple, yes, like most French things, often the simplest in ingredients, but it's all about the technique as to how you get it right. So I'm gonna show you how to make a ratatouille. And don't worry, no rats will be harmed in the making of this video. Bonjour, this is Cooking Fabulously, the channel that puts more fun and fabulousness into French food. If you're from Spain, you'd call today's dish a pisto, or if you're from Italy, a caponata. In fact, there's many different versions of the ratatouille that we know here in France, all around Europe and the globe. You'll even find that there's Turkish, Greek, Georgian, Hungarian, Romanian, and Moroccan versions of the French ratatouille. But I don't think they'd be calling it a French ratatouille. The name ratatouille comes from the French verb toulier. Let's just check that, shall we? Siri, how do you pronounce the French verb toulier? Siri? Siri, are you there? Maybe it's on my watch. Siri, are you there? Hello? <sighs> Apparently Siri's not at home right now. Let's just go to Google Translate. Toulier. Oh, Toulier. Toulier which is the French verb to stir. That's what they mean by ratatouille, to stir it all around in a pot. Sometimes I love to stir the pot. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe are, yes, maybe with these capskins, I could have used a bigger bowl, perhaps. You just want to top and tail the zucchini, slice them down the middle, then slice those halves down the middle as well just so you get some nice big chunks. You want a zucchini with a little bit of oomph to it. Nice big ones. We all love big ones, don't we? Same thing, top and tail, the eggplant, just like the zucchini, chop that in half and chop into large chunks. Once you've got all your mise en place ready, oh yeah, yeah, this Fly. Fly, not effing fly, but just the fly. The fly. Once you've got all your mise en place ready, you need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. In a fry pan, you want to heat up one tablespoon of olive oil on a medium to high heat. And then in a Dutch oven, put another two tablespoons of olive oil. But don't put that one on the heat. Add your onions and you want to cook those until they're translucent which take roughly about five minutes. Where is it? I will get it. This is typically a French provincial vegetable stew because it was originated in Nice. And actually, it's not called a ratatouille in Nice. It's called a ratatouille niçoise. Now, the trick to this ratatouille is that we're going to cook all the vegetables in stages before putting it in the Dutch oven. Basically, we're giving each vegetable a little bit of a head start before we pop it into the oven. This is to help you get the individual flavours of each vegetable when you're eating it, as opposed to if you just popped it all in a dish and sautéed it all together, they'd all mix up into one. And you know, onions would taste like tomatoes, and tomatoes would taste like zucchini, and the zucchini would taste like eggplant. It'd all just be mismatched on all together. No. Mm. Ah, no. And once those onions are a good stage, we can then put them into our Dutch oven. Now we just want to add another tablespoon of our olive oil. We're going to saute a capsicum. And we want to cook these for about five minutes. As they're cooking, give them a bit of a stir around. You do want to get a bit of colour on them because in this case, colour equals flavour. You don't want them burnt. You want to get a little bit of, you know, brown around the edges, so to speak. So once you've got a bit of colour on those, carefully remove the fry pan, place those capskins into our Dutch oven. And mix around. Another tablespoon of your olive oil. And this time, we're doing our zucchini. 
or courgettes, and again, cook them for five minutes, stirring occasionally to make sure they don't burn. Where are you? Hmm. No matter what's going on in the kitchen, if you've got something on the stove, always keep an eye on it. Radio, once you've got a bit of colour on those zucchini. Pop them into our Dutch oven. Another tablespoon of the olive oil. And this time we're adding our eggplant. Now with the vegetables that we've got in here, in the Dutch oven already, we can give them a little bit of a seasoning, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I like to season with salt and pepper. Some people just say salt, but I do. I like a little bit of oomph in my cooking. I like a little bit of oomph in everything, really. So once you've got a bit of color, plonk that. Eggplant, plonk. Place the eggplant. We wanna add our remaining olive oil. We're gonna to toss in our tomatoes. Give it a bit of a stir and cook that for five minutes. Right, so they're done. So we're just gonna plump, plump. We're just going to put them into the rest of this mixture. Make sure we get all of it. Don't want to waste any. Now that we've got all of our vegetables in, just want to give it a good stir around. Then we want to add our garlic, our bay leaf, our thyme sprigs, and a pinch of saffron. Now just want to give this a good stir. Good bit of seasoning, salt, and pepper, and voila, that's it. You pop the lid on, place this in the oven for 20 minutes. Then you have fantastic ratatouille. All right, that'll be our ratatouille done and ready for a ratatouille facial. Oh, all that lovely thyme and bay leaf and vegetables, saffron, smells amazing. Now be careful, it's hot. Give it a little bit of a stir. You can remove those the herb and the bay leaves. Excuse the fingers, whoops, it's hot. And then sprinkle in the parsley. And then be careful, because it is hot. Just give it a little bit of a taste. Beautiful. There you have it, my ratatouille. No rats harmed at all. I'll be very thankful. This is even better the next day. So, if you want to place the lid back on, allow it all to cool down, then put it into a container into the fridge, it'll keep till the next day. It'll actually keep in the fridge for up to five days, and it just keeps on getting better as it goes. When you want to serve it up though, make sure you leave it out of the fridge for at least a couple of hours, that way it can come up to room temperature. If you like this video, press the like button. And if you're new to cooking fabulously, then hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification right next to it. And that way you'll get an email every time I release a new video. And really, who wouldn't want that? I know I would. So, all I can say now is bon appetit. Yum. Don't worry, I'm not gonna like eat all of this. No, not all. Well, at least not all of it today. Do you want something? What do you want? Do you want some of the ratatouille?